Carmen Ghia that you're looking at here is the world's fastest naturally aspirated Volkswagen with an 8.6 in the quarter mile. This car straight rips. When you get a chance to listen to my podcast on Let's Talk Dubs and hear the full interview with Martin Friedschroeder, the pilot and builder of this car, you'll see exactly why it's as fast as it is. Nice. Andy's got the pit car on it, checking it out. <laughs> I heard I, I heard about this car. Yeah. Somebody was just telling me about this car. Yeah, yeah. He's made it all himself, made the engine and everything. All, all made it. It's fucking ridiculous. That is wild. He machined the case and everything, huh? Yeah, everything. The guy with a, with a beard. Is that the guy you know, the guy with the beard? Hey. The guy with the beard, the buddy yours? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've only heard of A member of Bunkle Group. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah, Austria. To be a biscuit. And this thing runs, what, in the quarter? Natural aspirated? Yeah. 8.6. 8.6? Without, <laughs> that's without? Without mattress. Without and I'll tell you the story behind it. Around the butterfly is a bowl. And the bowl keeps the cross section of the butterfly so it goes like this, has the same cross section area and then it's accelerated. Oh, so it's, it's flared out right where the butterfly is. You have the butterfly? Yeah. And then you have a bowl around it. So this cross section is not minimized by the butterfly. Nice. It's not reduced by so the you butterfly. So maintain the same velocity all the way down. You keep the velocity increasing to the valve. So he doesn't bottleneck when it hits a butterfly and keep going. So you custom machine that to work. Most carburetors are not made that way because they have the choke, then the butterfly, right? Interesting. Interesting. We just developed them on the dyno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nitro fire just comes out right there in the frame. Did you see the, the monkey yeah, with the nitro fire? Yeah, no, yeah. And did you see the switch? Yeah. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> this is the switch. Yeah, it's monkey poo. <laughs> That's too cool. And the whole pan's carbon too? Yeah. Hey, did, you see, you? did you see the flies? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dirty monkey, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will tell you when it's getting exciting. Let me All get right. like two minutes. You're, and then... you're Max. Mad Max. No. Mad, Mad Max. Okay, <laughs> from, from Austria. This Austria, is your yeah. car, Max Speed. The world famous Max Speed. No, it's not Speed. world famous. The world famous Max Speed. We're saying it's world famous. Now, you're just priming the oil pump on this thing with a, with a cordless drill. What was the reason you're priming the oil pump on this in advance? The thing is that, that this car runs on straight methanol, and the methanol has the nasty ability that it dilutes the oil. And okay. as soon as you keep the oil over 55 degrees, it evaporates. So what we are doing, we are preheating the oil and then we are priming the engine so the hot oil goes through the engine, catches all methanol that is left, gets out as a vapor, as the exhaust, because the methanol, let's go over there, goes into the dry sump tank, from the dry sump tank into the frame, the tube goes down and it goes over here in the exhaust. Oh wow. To the check valve so that there's no back pressure and just all the vapor goes out here and now I know the engine oil is hot, the head is preheated. So you preheat the heads too? Yeah, just wow. for easy starting. And then this is in methanol, it runs on pure methanol. Yep. Which they say is very difficult to start. Yes, it is not. At least I think so. And you have the injectors over top of the throttle bodies. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's hope it fires up immediately. Are you ready? Fire yeah. in a hole.
is the transom tank and you see oil goes in here oil goes out here and this is the heater oh, just nice. by electricity this is a regular 12 volt heater that you have coiled up on here on the tank yeah two just for if someone fails i have at least half a of backup. the car. yeah backup so preheating the oil keeps you from getting diluted by the methanol and keeping down the work for cold stuff. I need no additional fuel for cold stuff. Right. Because it's already warmed up and the cylinders the are already warmed up. The funny thing is all the people with EFI, they program uh, uh, a cold, cold start enrichment. This has a cold stuff and lean mat. It runs leaner really? because I want to get it hot quick so it's leaner. To warm it up faster. If you can do the right thing with ignition, the right thing with injection, the right injection timing, you can keep it run on the lean condition to not get oil, uh, the methanol diluted oil, and to get heat up the engine quicker. That's why it has an alignment. Everybody tells me that's stupid and it's wrong, but it works. Yeah, that's interesting. And you have two, you, you have, what's the shot of nitrous on here? How many horse? Up to 300 horse. So the engine is for- stages? It's progressive. And what RPMs will come on at? At the starting line. Off the starting line? Progressive and it ramps up. So not over here, bleed. not over here. Yeah, not yeah. over here, it's not possible over here. It's but not it starts at the starting line on a good track, like 30, 40%, and then it ramps up in 1.2 seconds to full. That's crazy. That's wild. And you made the heads? Yes. From built aluminum? Yeah, and I made the velocity sticks and I made all this titanium hardware. Now why do you run the exhaust this way? What is the reason for the exhaust going this if way? If you want to make horsepower, mm -hmm. there are three possibilities. Displacement, right. efficiency, and uh, RPM, not talking about boost. So to get the RPM high enough, you need short stacks and you need short exhaust. And you cannot get the exhaust short enough underneath the engine because it has to have a length to get the collector behind the oil pump. That's why we run it over the top. It doesn't matter, this because methanol doesn't what do your cylinder head temperatures get to on this? Are you Basically, I have to heat them and during it uh, run, the uh, cylinder heads rise like 20 degrees and the oil drops like 20 degrees. And then I have to preheat the oil again and the uh, heads cool down anyway. The heads are always too cold and the uh, oil gets all, always heated up. So wow. I have always heating problems, not cooling problems. It's something with the methanol then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evaporation energy of the methanol takes a lot of heat out of there. Right, like and as most of the methanol gets evaporated, it's a lot of heat that is taken out of the engine. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a manifold on a turbo car that freezes That's it. That's it. With, the, uh, with, with the atomization of fuel. Well, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. You like it? Yeah, I love it. I so love the fuel it. system on here runs at 50 psi. And how's your fittings, your attachments for the I'll fuel? I'll tell you the funny things, the more interesting thing. This fuel system mm -hmm. is dead head. So it's no fuel There's regulator. No, re no fuel regulator. No, no fuel return. regulator. It's electronic uh, PVM controlled by the pump. So really? the pump runs really low on the idle, and the more fuel it needs, the higher the pump gets by PVM. And how's your fuel line attached here? Show me that. This is just with a quick connect. And you see, it's dry because we switched off the fuel and let it dry out. And there's nothing in there. There's nothing in. Yeah. And we put it on again. And That's if you're well. talking about quick connectors, maybe I have to change the bottle quick. spinning knobs or any of that nonsense. Uh, that, that's annoying. <laughs> Fully titanium, fully titanium. 
to do nothing. Just keep those, just keep those hands on the steering wheel. Automatic steering. I will put my GoPros in and we'll send you the watch. Tool steel made by Mark Williams, like the Bro Stock. Yeah, but you can ride back there. Good job, good job, good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get the shakes out. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it. 